We've all been there, frozen by fear, overthinking every possible outcome, and stuck in the what-if zone. But fear doesn't have to run the show. Today we're diving into 10 practical strategies to help you kick fear to the curb and start living with confidence. So let's get right into it. Strategy number one, acknowledge and accept the fear. First things first, let's not pretend fear doesn't exist. Trying to shove fear into a dark corner only makes it stronger. The first strategy, acknowledge it. Yup, give it a name and say, hey fear, I see you. By accepting that you're afraid, you take away some of its power. It's like saying, I know you're there, but I'm the boss here. Strategy number two, break it down. Fear loves to feel big and scary, but here's the trick. Break it down into bite-sized pieces. Instead of looking at fear like one huge monster, think of it as a bunch of smaller challenges. It's much easier to handle one step at a time than to tackle everything at once. Fear suddenly goes from a 10 to a manageable four. Strategy number three, focus on what you can control. Let's be real, half of our fears are about stuff we can't control. So, why waste energy on it? Instead, shift your focus to what you can control. You can't control the weather, but you can control whether you bring an umbrella, right? Same goes for fear. Focus on your actions, thoughts, and mindset, and let go of the rest. Strategy number four, visualize success. Okay, let's get creative. Instead of picturing the worst case scenario, which fear loves to do, flip the script. Imagine yourself nailing it, whether it's a big presentation, a difficult conversation, or skydiving. Hey, no judgment. Visualizing success makes your brain go, oh, maybe I can actually do this. Strategy number five, take action. Here's the real game changer, action. Fear thrives in the land of inaction, so taking even the tiniest step forward can break the cycle. Scared of public speaking? Start by practicing in front of the mirror. Nervous about a big project? Write the first sentence. Taking action, no matter how small, weakens fear's grip. Strategy number six, reframe your thoughts. Ever catch yourself thinking, what if I fail? Classic fear move. But here's the thing, what if you succeed? Time to reframe that thinking. Turn those what ifs into positives instead of, what if I make a mistake? Try, what if this turns out even better than I imagined? It's all about flipping the script. Strategy number seven, breathe and stay present. When fear strikes, our minds love to run wild into the future, the past, everywhere but the present. So strategy seven is to bring it back to the here and now. Deep breaths, people. Take a moment to focus on your breathing and you'll notice the fear starts to lose its intensity. Stay present and grounded, it's where the magic happens. Strategy number eight, prepare and plan. Fear loves uncertainty, so let's kick that out the door with a good old plan. Got a big presentation? Practice it until you can do it in your sleep. Nervous about a conversation? Write down key points. The more prepared you are, the less room fear has to freak you out, as they say, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. But we're not failing today. Strategy number nine, Focus on the positive outcomes. Fear tends to dwell on everything that could go wrong. But what if we switched gears and thought about all the things that could go right? When you focus on the positive outcomes, you're giving yourself something to look forward to rather than something to dread. It's way more fun to think, I might totally crush this, than I'm going to mess up. Strategy number 10, seek support. Last but definitely not least, don't go it alone. Sometimes fear shrinks just by talking about it with someone. Whether it's a friend, family member, or mentor, sharing your fears can make them seem less intimidating. Plus, other people's perspectives can offer solutions you haven't even thought of. Fear hates a crowd. And there you have it. 10 strategies to kick fear to the curb and start living with more confidence. Remember, fear isn't your enemy. It's just a little obstacle on the way to the life you want. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, and let us know in the comments which strategy you're going to try first. Don't fear, you've got this.